Kylie with Title Boxing Club Sugar House here again. Today, I'm just gonna take you through our basic 30 minute workout. It's gonna involve boxing and kickboxing. So if you're more of a kickboxer, exchange anything you want. If you're more of a boxer, exchange anything you want. I won't be offended. I won't even know. I won't be able to see you. Let's have some fun today. So we've got a seven minute warm up, four three minute rounds in between each round, one minute of active recovery. I'll give you an exercise. The exercise is optional. You don't have to do it. It's also a time to get water. And then seven minutes of core at the end. Let's have a super good time. If there's anything you need to grab, press pause if you need. Otherwise, just gear up. I'm gonna press start on the timer. It's just a little further away. Okay, quarter squat position like this. We're just going two side steps each direction. I'll call these squat walks, so two to the left, two to the right. If you feel good already, Turn it to more of a shuffle. Two shuffles to the left, two shuffles to the right. In this position, 10 more seconds there. Butt back, load up your heels. Core tight, just hinging at the hips. No curving, no caving. Core locked in for three, two, one. Okay, we're going curtsy lunges. Soft bend, we're not going the full momentum. If you feel good already, add in that plyo jump. Soft plyo jump as we warm it up. The curtsy lunge, I believe they call it so. Just if you were curtsying. I always like to wonder who makes up the names for workout movements. I usually make up my own. So some of the terms I use, they might not be like official. Just to warn you, three, two, one, shake it out. Chest flare with the arms out and in. Woo! If you did my upper body recently, my upper body workout recently, might be feeling it down up, so with the arms down and up. Ooh, for three, two, one, shake it out. Okay, we're just going slips. Couple options here. No pivot, just leaning, really loading up the oblique. If you're slipping to the left, you can pivot the right. If you're slipping to the right, you can pivot the left. Whatever one you draw to. Boxers get real fancy on slipping a little lower. I'm a kickboxer. I slip a little more shallow because I don't want to get kicked in the head. <laughs> For three, two, one, rolls now. All legs. So even though we're not throwing combos yet and we're focusing on warming up our legs, I want your hands up anytime we roll today. I want you getting low enough to roll underneath the hook. So if someone threw a hook at you, would you be low enough to get underneath it? Hey, For three, two, one, jump ropes. Woo, side to side. Singles, doubles, whatever version of a jump rope you want. Pretend like you have that jump rope in your hand. Loosen up those shoulders at the same time. Let's go for 10 more seconds here. You can get real fancy. Hey, <laughs> for three, two, one, feet wide, three tap stretch. You have a front tap, a middle tap, a back tap, stand it all the way up, reach it side to side, repeat front, middle, back all the way up, Nice and long. You've got at least 12 more seconds there. Just hinging at the hips as we lean forward. Front, middle, back, up, reach. At least one more, one more. Loosen up the hamstrings. Loosen up those obliques or side abs for three, two, one, crossover jacks. Hey, just like a jumping jack. Hands, let's hug tight. Let's have a bend at our elbows on both of those phases. Hey, hey, hey. Soft on the feet. If you're landing a little heavy, slow it down a little bit. Control that landing for three, two, one. Shake it out, we're back to this position. Lean it forward, rock it side to side. If you can, wrap your hands around towards the backs of your heels. Hang there, feel the hamstrings release. Low back, especially on that wrap around. You should be feeling a little bit more pull into that low back on the opposite side for three, two, one, bring it on up, regular squats. Warm up those legs. I want you to pretend like there's a chair behind you. Sit back into that chair like, doo -doo -doo. oh, sitting back. Load up the heels, back straight, core tight. Whoo, if you feel comfortable, squat jacks. If you're warm enough, kick the feet out on the down face, up on the up face. You better still be sitting back though, I don't wanna see this. Leaning forward onto the toes. Sit back for three, two, one, let's shadow box a little bit. Just a nice jab cross, reset. Jab cross, reset. Let's get our form in tune here. Whatever stance you want. You can work both stances. 
I want you to be like real snipery today, like waiting, pop, pop, waiting, pop, pop. Two more, one more. Hey, uppers and hooks, two uppercuts, two hooks, pivot on the hooks. Uppers really tight from the hips upward. Hooks rotate around. So if it's a rear hook, rear heel pivots in. If it's a lead hook, lead heel pivots in. Opposite, but grounding you. Two more uppers and hooks. One more. Shh, shh. All right, shake it out. Ollie Shuffle. Doing this shake out with your hands. Loosen up the wrists at the same time. Let's go for three, two, one. Shake it out. Okay, you're gonna step your left foot forward. Hands to the ground. Reach side to side. Reach left. Reach right. Reach. Reach towards the sky. Open up as much as you can. Loosen up the upper body. Loosen up the hips, that front knee. Try to get it right over top of the heel. If it's a little too much tension on the hips, drop that back knee. Same thing for three, two, one. Switch it up, opposite foot forward. Step forward, knee to the ground or elevated in the back. Reach, run or reach. You know, like back in the day when you're getting ready to run a race, you're in that stance. We're just adding the reach there for three, two, one. To your knees for just a second. We're gonna go some cat cows, so hands and knees. I want you to breathe in on the curve, out on the cave, in. Round it up, out, curve it out. One more, in, out. We're gonna go one set of mountain climbers just to get that core engaged for three, two, one, hips up. Mountain climbers, drive those knees, it's probably a better angle. Hips up towards the ceiling, knee drive. I mean it, push your hips up, pull with the low core, tuck it in. Let's go for five, four, drive those knees. Three, two, one, bring it on up, shake it out, arm circles forward. You can be stationary, you can have a hop in there. Whatever version you want, reverse, reverse. You guys, we've already got just over 30 seconds left. We're almost there, torso twist, elbows out, rotate side to side. When you're ready, extend the arms, wherever you wanna reach, up down, straight across, you got options. Loosen it up, loosen everything up. Three, two, one, shake it out. Last 15 seconds, I love ending with the freestyle. Freestyle, you can shadow box. If you have another warm up, you need to fit in there. Anything, the floor is yours. I need you to get warm though. You gotta be working somehow. If you feel tight somewhere, cater to it. Let's go for four, three, two, hey, grab water. Less than one minute, and then we'll kick off round one. I'm, of course, gonna grab water. Woo. You guys get to hear me like breathe ultra heavy. So, just to gear you up, round one, lots of like hard single hits into hard double hits into hard triple and four hitters. So, I'm just gonna really round one. I'm gonna break down the form of every single strike. I want you to be powerful though. Like if you only had one hit, we're gonna start with a jab off the lead hip. If you only had the jab, like if that was your only hit and you only had one shot, you'd be going powerful. You'd be trying to knock someone out. You still got about 15 seconds. Relax your neck though, relax your traps. When you put your hands up, it's natural to scrunch our shoulders up. Put a lot of tension here. It's gonna exhaust us. Shoulders down, hands up. Fire from the hips, yeah? In five seconds, in your stance. You can work both stances if you want. It's up to you. Three, two, one, jabs. Power. Hey, if you want to be stationary, be stationary. If you want a power step, power step. If you want a hop step, hop step. Whatever version of the jab you want. You can get your head out of the line of fire. You can add a slip into it. For three, two, one. Let's go. Rear upper cut. Hupper, hupper, rear upper. So I'm not coming way up on the top of my toe, keep those going on the back. I'm really grounded, that back hip is firing for me. Pop, two more, one more. Okay, lead hook, lead hook. Last single hitter for now. From the lead hit, again, as I throw that lead hook, I'm not coming up on the top of my point, like the point of my foot. I'm grounded, I'm just hard pivoting. Three, two, one, let's put those together, jab. Rear upper, lead hook. Pop, pop, hey, here we go, start with that jab. Jab, upper hook, if you wanna move around, move around. Jab, upper hook, if you wanna get your head out of the line of fire, 
Get your head out of the line of fire. If you want to throw it to the body, throw it to the body. These are hard hitters. I want you going ultra power here. Three more. Two. Pow, pow. A one. Shake it out. Shake it out. Cross only. Single cross. Off that back. Hip. I over pivoted on that first one. Get it going. What I mean by over pivot is we want our heel pivoting in the direction of our strike. Heel lined up. I over pivoted. I didn't really need to do that. A. A. Three more. Crosses. You gotta love crosses. They're so powerful. Last one. Okay. We're going. No, no, no. Yeah. Lead upper. Sorry. Lead uppercut. Lead uppercut. Sh up. Even if I don't like slip to load up, I can still launch if I trust that hip enough. Hey. If you want to slip to the lead before to load up, you can. Sneak it in there. Sh -sh -sh -sh. Hey. Two more. One more. Hey, rear hook, last single hitter. Pivot that back heel in the direction of it. Hey, hey. So my pivot for a rear hook, it's a little more around because my strike is coming this way. It's coming to the side of the dome. Scoop that hand back afterwards. Hush, three more. Real solid base on that front leg. Last one. You know what's coming, cross upper hook, cross, lead upper. Rear hook power. Hey, hey, two more. One more. All right, speed jab cross. You've only got about 10 seconds here. You can go square, regular. I just threw you into there because I lost track of time. Here we go. It doesn't matter though. That happens in line. Full extension. Three, two, one. Shake it out. Your active recovery. Jump ropes, jumping jacks. Real high cardio today. I've been doing a lot of strength with you guys. Just like legit striking today. Water if you need it. Woo I lost track of time on that first one. I'll try to not do that again. I'm trying to look at you guys. Not too far to the sides. <laughs> Hip so. That was a lot of like technique that round. Single hitters into triple hitters. So now we're gonna start into doubles. We're gonna get some slips, some rolls in there. Um, kickboxing will come in round three. So if you want to exchange like hooks for elbows, go for it. If you want knees in place of crosses, anything, exchange whatever you want. 10 seconds. So we're going to move on this one. We're going jab, lead hook, step forward, cross, rear hook. I want you stepping forward on each hook. Jab, hook on the same side. Here we go. Cross, hook on the same side. Here we go. Whatever form of moving you want. A. Hey, if you want like little slip motions in there, Adam. Jab, slip, hook, cross, slip, hook. Go for it. So stepping, when we step in on those hooks, for the most part, we're pushing off our back foot on each one. Jab, hook, out, cross, hook, out. One more reach. Hey, pa, hey, okay. After each hook, I want you to drill an uppercut from the opposite side. Jab, lead, hook, rear uppercut. Cross rear hook, lead upper, looks like this. Jab, hook upper, cross, hook upper. Hey, here we go. I get a little wide sometimes. Try to keep your base. It's okay to get wide from time to time, as long as you reset your base. Shh, shh. 10 seconds, whatever stance you want. Jab, hook upper, cross, hook uppercut. One more reach. Shh, hey, pop. All right, shake it out, Ollie Shuffle. You get a little bit of freestyle. We're going hop, step, jab, cross, in, jab, cross. Two freestyle hits, get out. Hop, step means our back foot comes with us when we get in. Front foot comes with us when we get out. Here we go, in, jab, cross. Two freestyle hits, get out. Really try to maintain your stance as you get in and out. Keep that going, in, jab, cross. One, two, out. Don't lose power on the jab, cross. Just because we're adding two freestyle hits on after. Two more. In, jab, cross, one, two, out. In, jab, cross, one. Woo, all these shuffles, shake it out. Breathe, 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 breathe. Okay, back to our first combo. Jab, hook, two alternating uppers now. Cross, hook, two uppers. So the jabs and the hooks, same side. Crosses and the hooks, same side. Here we go. Jab, hook, two uppers. Cross, hook, two uppers. Dig them in. 
Again, if you're a kickboxer, exchange whatever you want in there for kicks, knees, elbows. One more of each at least. Pa pa. Really tight on the uppers. Dig them in for three, two, one. All a shuffle. 10 seconds to the burnout. I'm on track with time this time. Keep the shuffle going on my mark. We're gonna go speed, jab, cross, hook, hook, roll, roll. Three, two, one. Jab, cross, hook, hook, roll, roll. Jab, cross, hook, hook, roll, roll. Keep that going. Full rotation on the hooks. Full depth on the rolls. Burn it out. Shh, shh. This is your burnout. If you're rolling low enough to get underneath that hook, Let's go, you got 10 seconds. Jab, cross, hook, hook, roll, roll. Let's go, I'm your catalyst. I am here to push you. You have to keep working for three, two, one. Woo -hoo -hoo. Shake it out, let's go side lunges. Step to the side, out, alternate them. So you can keep just a stance like this if you don't have too much space. Sit back, sit back. If you want more cardio, speed skaters. Try to maintain this hip width. So instead of curtsy lunging, jump, maintain that hip width there. Otherwise, side lunges. Whoo, water if you need it. So the next round, we're gonna add some kickboxing moves. If you're a boxer, you don't want anything to do with kickboxing, it's fine. Replace any of the kickboxing moves with uppers, hooks, or straightaways. Whoo. I am breathing. Okay, 10 seconds. We are going one uppercut, one hook, one elbow. You can start on whatever side you want. You could go all same side, however you want it. Here we go, upper, hook, elbow, one of each. On the elbows, keep that going. Either high to low, straight across, or low to high. Here we go, upper, hook, elbow, if you wanna like jump in on some of those. Hey, you can. Get those hands up. I almost ran right into the bone. Upper hook, elbow. Two more. Pop, pop. Hey, one more. Hey, all right, shake it out. After the elbow, two knees. So from the elbow, come with on the opposite knee first. Actually, you can choose, but I really want you to sneak the knee in off the elbow. Upper hook, elbow, knee, knee. Let's go. Upper hook, elbow, knee. Knee, you got freedom on the upper hook and elbow, whatever side you want them on. Upper hook, elbow, hey. Steering wheel on the knees, ish, ish. Steering wheel, across, across. One more, upper hook, elbow, knee, knee. Shake it out, okay, in and out. Double jab, cross to get in. Reset, double jab, cross to get out. Keep that going on the back face. Moving on the double jab, stationary on the cross. Moving on the jab. Stationary on the cross. Move, move, stationary. Move, move, stationary. Let's go. Ha, hey. One more. Jab, jab, cross in. Jab, jab, cross. Okay, shake it up from the cross. Tight slip to the rear. Two freestyle hits. Oh, I'm giving you freestyle today. Double jab, cross. Slip. One, two. Get back. Double jab, cross. Slip. One, two. Anything. Here we go. Jab, jab, cross, slip, one, two. Jab, jab, cross, slip, one, two. <laughs> you got 10 seconds there. I want your hands up on the evade in the ring. I love doing this. Moving back, making it look like I'm evading, and then holding my ground. Three, two, one. Shake it out, shake it out, shake it out. Breathe, breathe, breathe. So that's our first combo. Upper hook, elbow, two knees. Two push kicks, hey! Upper hook elbow, knee, knee, push, push. You've only got about 15 seconds here. Upper hook elbow, knee, knee, push, push. Oh, I almost got the bone first throw on that one. One more, hush, 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 hey! All right, shake it out. Burner, speed uppers, three, two, one, speed uppercuts. When I say switch, speed knees, three, two, one, speed knees. Back and forth between the two. Switch, speed uppers. Switch, speed knees, up, 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 up. Switch uppers. Last one. Switch knees, three, two, one. Woo! Oh, 
my lord. Grab water, active recovery if you want it. Let's go sumo squats, I love sumo squats. Toes wide, knees wide. If you want a challenge, squat, raise the heels, bring it back before you stand up. Core really tight there. Whoo! Breathe in. Cardio day. Hopefully you guys are feeling this just as much as I am. You only have one round left. We are there. And then we've got core. And I think the most positive feedback I get on things that I say are, let's go. My favorite thing ever to say. So let's do it. Let's go, let's go. Okay, we're gonna get a little crazy on this one. We're gonna go make a square. Move forward, jab, cross hook. Move to the right, jab, cross hook. Move back, jab, cross hook. Move left, jab, cross hook. Play around with it. You can move, then throw the jab, cross hook. Make a square. A. Or you can try to time your jab on each one. Jab, cross hook. Jab, cross hook. Jab, cross hook. Jab, cross hook. Try to get to your stance. So if you're going laterally, replace. Step and replace. Back, step, replace. Out, step, replace. Up, shake it out, shake it out, shake it out. Change your stance. We're gonna do the same thing. Jab, cross hook, opposite stance. Up, jab, cross hook. Side, jab, cross hook. Back, jab, cross hook. Side, jab, cross hook. Play around with it. Being able to move forward, sideways, backwards. It all comes in handy in the ring, I promise. Right now, we're essentially in the ring with life. So, all bets right now. Three, two, one. Shake it out, let's work some rolls. Real tight, rear upper, lead hook to the cross. Let's roll to the rear first, roll it back. Upper hook cross, here we go. Roll, upper hook cross. What did I say about our rolls? Low enough to get under a hook from the lowest point of your roll. Launch that rear upper gut. Shh, shh. Roll, upper, hook, cross. I need two more. Roll, up, hook, cross. One more. Roll. A, shake it out. K, we're gonna add a jab cross at the beginning. Jab cross, roll back, upper hook cross. Shh. Here we go. Last round, you guys. Jab cross, roll back, upper hook cross. Let's go. Jab cross, roll, upper hook cross. Again, I messed that last one up. From the lowest point of your roll, launch that uppercut in there. Here we go, jab, cross, roll, upper hook, cross, one more. Pa, pa, roll, sa, sa, sa. Okay, shake it out, shake it out. Less than one minute. We are going one, two, three pyramid. One freestyle hit, then two, sh then three. Hey, anything, let's go. One, sh two, pa, pa, three. Sh hey, change levels, head, body. Imagine someone like, Reach for my face right now if you can see my face. Get me. <laughs> okay, three, two, one. Shake it out, jab, cross. Whatever stance you want. When I say hit it, four freestyle hits. Let's go. Hit it, one, two, three, four. Speed, full extension, full extension. Hit it, one, two, three, four. Anything, anything. Speed, jab, cross, speed, jab, cross. Hit it, one, two, three, four. Let's go, 12 seconds. Hit it, two, three, four. Hey, anything. Hit it, pop, 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 hey. Last two, hit it, shh, shh, shh. one, hit it, hey. Woo. Water, less than one minute, and then we are going for core, yeah? Core, 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 core. Breathe, water, H2O, whatever else you wanna drink. Oh, I'm gonna point you down. Woo. We're gonna get our core going. So, we are gonna start on the ground. We're gonna go push up position on my mark. I love like push up position, it's really hard, but building up our arm strength is good for the striking. Even though power comes from the hips, we still got some oomph in there with the upper body. We just wanna be relaxed in the upper body when we strike. Kinda like a car accident on impact, if you're real tense up here, then you're actually gonna like potentially hurt your muscles. So we're gonna go push up position, 
You're gonna go alternating toe taps. So one on the right, one on the left, alternate them. If you want a challenge, jump between stances. Pat, pat, pat. In three, two, one. On the push-up position, you guys know my cues. I need your hands, your, sorry, your shoulders, right over top of those hands. Drive the knees on the toe taps. If you want to cycle, your, cho your uh, challenge, Get the foot right outside of your hand every single time, yeah? Eight seconds, you're almost there. Cycle, cycle, cycle for three, two, one. Relax, Chad's pose if you need it. Woo! Breathe, breathe, breathe. We've got two more challenges from the push-up position, and then we're gonna lay it onto our back, burn out our core that way. So on my mark, we're going push-up position again. We're gonna go wide push-up. Regular push-up, narrow, A. If you want, you can go from your knees. I'd rather have full range of motion from your knees. In three, two, one. This is what it looks like from the knees. Wide, regular, narrow. On the narrow, hug the elbows tight alongside your body. Control every single down phase, yeah? What do we do when we strike? We punch through air. If you can push your body weight up, you're gonna be that much more powerful. Three, two, one. Shake it out, child's pose if you need it. Woo, breathe. Lengthen out those arms. Try to get a stretch along the lats. One more from the push-up position, and then we will switch it up. So, I'm gonna give you two options. Option one, we did this in the warm-up mountain climbers. Hips up, drive the knees. Option two, pikes. Jump the feet up and back. You can do more of a tuck where your knees come in and back if you prefer to. Mountain climbers, tucks, or pikes. In three, two, one. Here we go. Option one, mountain climbers. Option two, tucks with a bend in the knee. Option three, straight leg pike. On the tucks and the pike. When you are bringing your feet in, pull that low core up. Hips towards the ceiling, yeah? Ten more seconds, you're almost there. You got it, you got it. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Five, four, three, two, one. Relax. Oh my gosh, child's pose if you need it. Woo! We're gonna lay it on down. On my mark, we're gonna go Russian twist. So you're picking me on the ground, in the air. We're actually gonna go for a little bit of a series. Ten Russian twists. One tap equals one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Five out ins or full sit ups, your choice. In three, two, one. Here we go. Ten Russian twists. Let me move back a little. Pa, pa, pa. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Five out ins. Down, up is one. Down, up is two. Down, up is three. Let's go. Four. Last one. Hold. Back to the Russian twist. Ten and Five, this one is a burner. It's a challenge, you can do it. Real tight rotations on the Russian twist. If you want a challenge, hands can be a little wider. It's gonna slow down the movement, but it's gonna be a little more challenging on the core. You've got 10 seconds. You're almost there, push through. Feel that core getting stronger, yeah? Five, four, three, two, one. Relax, Woo. Lay it on down, hug your knees in. Get the hip flexors to relax for just a second. Woo, woo, woo. On my mark, we're gonna go reverse crunch. So feet in line with our hips. You're gonna push your hips up towards the ceiling, control it down. So hands can be like to the sides, almost just to the outside of the glutes. Up, as slow as you can come down. Up, slow down face. When you drop your hips, try to keep your feet forward. It's gonna force that low core to be engaged. Three. Two, one, feet up to the ceiling, down. So the other challenge, our feet tend to rock forward with momentum to get up and then rock back. Our challenge over time is to get our core strong enough so that our feet can go straight up and straight down. I am nowhere near there, but one day, hopefully I will be. We got about 12 more seconds there. Up, sh control, down. My feet totally rock forward. I need a little help on the momentum on the end to get up there. One day, hopefully not. Three, two, one. 
relax. You can hug those knees in again if you need. We've only got two more exercises left. So second to last one, we're going flutters. Lay it on down. Feet are gonna be at a six inch hold for low back support, hands under the glutes. For a challenge, hands up overhead. You're gonna flutter those feet starting off in three, two, one. Here we go, flutter. You can have more points. You can have more of a flex with your feet. Personal preference, small flutters, as close to the ground as you can. Spine, keep it melted into the ground. No arching in the spine. It's gotta stay flat to the ground. Scissor kicks now, over under. Over under, this is your second to last exercise. We're almost done. Scissors, over under, over under. Three, two, full leg raises, up and down, up and down. If you want to challenge, hands meeting the feet for the full V up. So either leg raise or full V up. Hey, let's go, let's go. Three, two, one. Hang it here for just a second. We're going to go back to the flutter kicks for 15 seconds in three, two, one. Extend those feet, small flutters. Hey, you only have one exercise left. Again, tighten up that low core. Don't let your spine arch off the ground. If you feel your low back, feet slightly higher. For three, two, one, relax. Our last challenge, this is the last one that you have. We're going alligator walk. So, if you have a towel, you can put a glider or a towel under your feet. Actually, Let's not make it anywhere near that because I didn't tell you to grab a towel. So we're just gonna go push up position. Whew. You're gonna walk it over to the right as far as you can in your space. Walk it over to the left. Walk it over to the right. Walk it over to the left in three, two, one. Here we go, walk, push up position. Walking, walking, walking. Whoo, there we go, there we go, there we go. Walk, walk, shoulders over top of the hands. Two more, go down, walk, 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 walk. Come back, walk, 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 walk. Front plank position, last burn out. Here we go, front plank, front plank. If you wanna challenge, alternating side knees or jump the feet out and in. Otherwise, just hold. I was meaning to shock your upper body just a little bit with a push-up walk. I want you to feel this in your core more than your shoulders. If you're feeling more shoulders, weight could be slightly back Push it forward, shoulders over top of the elbows. Let your entire forearms take your weight on. Core tight, 10, nine, you're almost there. Eight, let's go, seven, six, finish. Five, four, three, two, eight. Hey. Oh my goodness, you guys did it. That was well over the 30 minute mark, so. I'm not gonna take you through a stretch today. On Sunday, we're gonna release a nice recovery video with Jim. Oh, yeah, 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 you'll see this, okay. <laughs> what is today? You guys, I can't even keep track of my weeks. I'm not even gonna lie. So, on Sunday, if Sunday has already come and gone, look back to Sunday. There's a recovery post with Jim, good stretches to fit in there after these workouts and since they're so short. If it's not Sunday yet, then you'll see this on Sunday, but it's likely already past. So look back at the Sunday post. <laughs> That's my brain, you guys. It's all of our brains. It's totally fine. It's okay to be like wonky, but we just have to like keep going, yeah? We just can't be stuck. Let's none of us be stuck. Let's keep working really hard. If you have things you wanna see, please let us know. I sincerely love you all. Thank you for tuning in. We will see you next time. <laughs>